So here I have my printed image scaled to the correct size. I have a clear plastic sleeve which I'm going to place my printed image inside. And then my next task is going to be taking a thin Sharpie. Black works great, but really any dark color. And I'm going to start tracing the outlines of the bird here. So you want to really be careful to not rush this process. I know it takes a little, a little while, but what you're going to want to do is trace every outline. And then as you pull it out, you can check and make sure your lines are good. And just to zoom in and show you, even like the blurred background, I still put those edges and lines in there. I'm also putting edges where there's like shifts in color on the bird too. So next you're going to need a piece of watercolor paper. So notice it's thicker and has texture compared to the drawing paper. So make sure it's watercolor paper, your transparency. You're going to need a 4B or 6B pencil and then some masking tape. So this is the projector we are going to use. Um, you just pull up on this lever and then you can lift up the lamp portion and get the projector ready to go. So you're gonna to need to find a blank wall in the hallway or classroom to work on. And then after you get the projector, go ahead and put your transparency on the projector itself and turn it on. And this is old school, so move it back if you need it to be bigger, move it forward if you need it smaller. And then you're going to line up on the transparency on the wall and then there's a dial on the side, which you'll see here in just a second. And you'll notice that I can um, turn that dial and I can zoom in and out and make it nice and clear. So get it clear and then you're going to tape your paper up onto the wall. Turn the lights off if you need to. And then you're going to use your 4B or 6B pencil and you're gonna trace all of your lines. So once again, this is a little bit of a time consuming process, but go slow to make sure your lines are accurate. When you're done tracing, you can bring it over to the paper cutter or ask me to do it and trim off just a little of the excess paper, but still leave a little bit of a gap room because you will be taping this down to a board. Um, and if you don't need to trim, that's totally fine too. So you will take a drawing board and masking tape and you are going to lay down your paper on top of the drawing board and we're actually going to tape this onto the drawing board for the rest of the project. You won't take it off of this drawing board until you're done with your painting. At that time we will trim your edges to get rid of all the tape and so you'll have nice clean edges to your painting. Um, and if you find your papers bigger because you traced more lines all the way to the edges that's okay. Let the paper go all the way to the edge of the drawing board and just wrap your tape around the board. That's totally fine. Put an extra piece of tape at the top and label with Sharpie. Make sure your name is on it as well as your class period. This will help for storage and management with your project. So make sure that's right up top with Sharpie. After you tape down your paper, you are going to take it outside to fix it. So I put it on top of this pole because there's snow on the ground, so you can do that. But if it's dry, you can just lay it on the rocks outside. But go ahead and spray it with fixative and then wait for it to dry. You're going to bring it back up and you're going to apply a wash on your painting. So I have a little piece of matte board paper mat board scrap and I'm putting, I'm mixing an orange for my wash. So we'll talk more about the wash uh, in class, but go ahead just on a little piece of matte scrap, um, mix your color up that you want to use. Again, make sure it's not pure yellow and no white added to the color, but you could do orange, you could do a yellow green if you want to involve yellow in it somehow, but yellow is just too light on its own. So after you mix that up, you will need a big paintbrush, obviously you're painting, and then you're going to need a cup of water. So I'm taking this big paintbrush and I'm dipping it just the tips of the bristles into the color. Notice I'm not putting it all over my paintbrush. 
Then I have a cup of clean, fresh water, hasn't been used before, dipping my brush in it. Basically think like I'm applying a watercolor wash over top of this entire painting here. So I chose orange for my color. Notice I need to kind of dip it back into the paint to bring more color into it, but just spread it around with water. Your goal here is you don't want it too dark because you want to see your lines through the wash. Go ahead and let your wash dry and you can actually throw away your matte board scrap and then you are ready to block in.